finally, the Apple iOS 14 update has officially been released. Now, if you are an affiliate marketer or you are advertising online and your sales funnel requires multiple domains, then you are probably going to be screwed. However, we have came to discover one simple hack that you can actually instantly apply and overcome this particular issue. And if you're interested, then keep watching this video. What is up everybody, Fred Lam here and welcome to my video channel where I share everything on how to build, grow and scale an online business. Now, ever since that I released an entire video about the iOS 14 tracking and how to actually get your Facebook ad account all completed for the entire release, I get a lot of questions asking, Fred, how do I overcome this issue as an affiliate and also what if my sales funnel requires multiple domains and some of the domains I cannot even verify. Well, guess what? We finally have overcome this issue and we are going to share with you the simple hack that you can actually start using. But before we get into it, make sure that you smash the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video, you're gonna get notified right away. So before we actually dive deep into this simple hack, first thing first, if you are unaware about the Apple iOS 14 update, or if you have yet to verify your domain and set up your Facebook ad account for the update, then make sure you watch this video here over first. Because at the end of the day, you gotta have to make sure you have your preparation work all set and in place. Now, a lot of people thought that the update is going to end Facebook advertising, but from what we've seen, it actually didn't have much of an effect. However, there are gonna be some tracking issues, especially if you are an affiliate or if your sales funnel requires multiple domains. Let's say for an example, if your initiate checkout and your purchase is going to be on a different domain because you are working with a third party provider, then that's going to be an issue. But as I said, we finally found a way to overcome this and we are going to share this with you. However, First thing first, it is a little bit complex and complicated. So I do encourage you to actually watch this video a couple times and I will even hop over to my screen in a bit to show you exactly how it works. But before we get into it, let me give you the 30,000 foot overview first. So let's say that you have your domain, abc.com, all verified. In order for your pixel to work properly, you would need to actually ensure that any pixel or conversion event should be on abc.com. However, if your sales funnel requires another domain, let's say a checkout from a third party, or you are advertising as an affiliate, promote other people's product, you are unable to verify the second page or the third page of your sales funnel. How do you overcome this? Well, it's actually a lot simpler than you think. All we need to do is to have a blank HTML page that has the pixel that is verified with a domain and have it as an iframe on the secondary domain or third or fourth domain that you are unable to verify. So that way you're still having the domain verified with that pixel on a blank HTML page and you're just iframing it into another website and still triggering the event at the same time. Now, it may sound a little bit complex. That's why I'm gonna actually hop over to my screen to show you exactly how you can create this. All right, we're back to my computer right now. And before you actually go ahead and create everything, you would need a programming software. You can use Dreamweaver if you have Dreamweaver. If you don't, you can actually do a Google search and download the Visual Studio code. All right, it's completely free, just go grab it. Once you actually have the software in place, simply head over to Google and search for a blank HTML5 page. And usually the first 
result, which is by site point. You can click on it, and if you scroll down further, you'll actually see the blank HTML template. Just copy it, and next, open up the Visual Studio Code and paste it right in. So afterwards, you don't need the script over here or the link. So line six and line seven, we delete it, and we delete line number eight. The title, you can do whatever you like. I'm just gonna do Fred Lamb, purchase, just like that. And now, once I got this template in place, the next thing is that I need to go and grab my Facebook pixel. So I simply go over into my Facebook account, and then right under Add Events, click on it, and click on From a New Website. When you click on it, you'll be actually say Install Code Manually. Click on that and copy the code. Once you copy the code, go back into the Visual Studio Code, and right before the closing head, okay, you want to basically paste the code right in here, just like that, okay? Now, we need to actually have the tracking event in place. So when we go back to Facebook, we click on continue, continue, and then install event code. And then on here, under the standard event, you will actually have a purchase as an example. So if you're tracking purchase, just grab this over here and then go back right into the visual, uh, visual code and then right after the Facebook pixel, just add in the word script. And then paste what you got and then close the script. Just like that. Okay. So now obviously I'm tracking the purchase right now. You can actually change this to other standard events. And the list is actually right over here. When you click on the standard events, you'll see add payment info, add to cart, all these other things that if you want to track on a third party website that don't have the domain verified and all those other fun things. Once you actually got all these in place, all you have to do is just save the file. So I'm just going to go save as, and you can save it to whatever you like. You can save it as, I would usually save it as a most important, as an HTML format. And then I would call it purchase.html or whatsoever. Okay. Once I actually got this done, then I would just simply need to upload this right into my verified domain. So in a nutshell, let's say my domain is www.abc.com. I will need to upload it to www.abc.com and write in the root directory so it's .html, just like that, right? So once I actually have this file onto my domain that I verified, then what I need to do next is to create an iframe code to actually install it into the third-party website that I don't own or that I am not at, that I'm an affiliate of that I could actually ask the owner to upload for me or if you're using like Infusionsoft or other tracking uh, or payment software, you can actually put in this code. All you have to do is put in open the uh, use the open bracket iframe source equal and the quote and then you put in the URL HTTPS www.abc.com forward slash purchase dot html okay close it with this the bracket and then what you want to do is do height equal to zero and width sorry equal to one height equal to one width equal to one and then forward slash close so what you want to do is simply use this code copy this code into a obviously your payment server or wherever it is as long as this iframe code is actually installed onto the thank you page or onto the uh initiate checkup page or whatsoever what's going to happen is that that file okay that page when people go to a second page they will actually load this url as an iframe and this url actually have your facebook pixel that you have verified on your domain to actually push back right into facebook as well I know this sounds a little bit complicated, a little bit techy, but if you rewatch this, you'll get the point. So all you gotta do, remember, just create a blank HTML page, 
upload it to your server that actually has the pixel and the standard events, and then afterwards create the iframe source code just like this over here and just have this code embedded onto the domain that you don't obviously can verify or you can actually ask your vendor of the affiliate products that you're selling to just upload this at the bottom of their website anywhere it is and then it will actually trigger correctly. All right, so welcome back. Hope that you can actually see exactly how it's done. It sounds complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. So again, like I said, the entire strategy is to simply still have your pixel on your verify domain, but you're just iframing them onto a domain that you are unable to verify at the same time, but you're still able to fire the pixel. Now, for those of you that are at a ClickBank affiliate, guess what? ClickBank has officially released their Facebook C API that you can actually start using. They have an entire article on their knowledge base to show you exactly how to set up your tracking as a ClickBank affiliate. So in a nutshell, if you are a ClickBank affiliate, make sure you go to ClickBank's website to set up your pixel. But if you, let's say, have a sales funnel that revolves multiple domains, and if you're an affiliate of other people's product, but you're not on ClickBank, then you definitely need to use this strategy. But at the end of the day, here's what I believe. I believe that anything that happens on Facebook is gonna actually perform a lot better than tracking outside of Facebook. So let's say that if your goal is to actually create an email address or to build an email list, I would say that using the lead generation objective is gonna be far better than using a landing page when it comes to tracking. And remember, the more pixel data that Facebook has, the better your campaigns are going to be and optimized to be when it comes to Facebook. And if you wanna learn exactly how to actually build an email list up of Facebook, without a Latin page and actually doing it on Facebook, I have a free course that you can actually check out right down below in the video description. Other than that, I hope that you enjoyed this video and you can actually see how this can drastically help you in your business. So remember, smash the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video, you're gonna get notified right away. And I do encourage you to watch all the other videos that I've recently released, all of them are fully updated for you to actually get results. Other than that, till next time.